In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the front door seals on your Ford Explorer four door. The seal is located right inside your door jam. The process for this is the same as the passenger side. Now we wanna go ahead and pull our seal out. There is a natural split right here. We're gonna use our trim tool and this lower component just pops up. I'm gonna go ahead and work this up and off the jam area here. And all you really have to do is try and get this plastic out and away from this seal. So we can go ahead and pull it off the pinch weld. I'm gonna continue on our trim panels here. When you pop out your A-pillar, you're gonna have these clips right here. Should be one here, it's actually stuck up on the top here, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that. We have our lower kick panel here. And on the inside panel, there's this little plastic push pin. I'm just gonna pop that out of the side here. And we'll remove this here, we'll show you where that is. It's located right here. So you just pop that button out of that and remove that kick panel and grab the upper pillar here. And we're just gonna try and work this out a little bit. Now at this point here, we're not gonna have to go ahead and remove this here. We're just gonna be able to use our trim tool to go ahead and hold that back. Come on down to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling up on our seal. And you're just going to pull it up and off the pinch weld. And work our way around. Now our seal itself has a little pinch area here that presses onto the pinch weld of the body and this is what the door closes on. Let's go ahead and start down on the middle part of the door shell itself, or the body here. This does not have to be glued on. And go ahead and just simply work your way around, pushing this into place. And go ahead and work your seal in. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda hold that piece of trim, pull it back as I work the seal up and around and working this into place. Make sure those corners are pressed in nice and tight. Now, if you happen to notice that your corners are pulling out a little bit, it's simple enough to just go ahead and pull the seal back out, work it back up and in. Make sure it goes all the way up onto that seam. And then just continue your way back down and continue that process. It might take a couple tries to get that fitting in there perfect. Now, at this point here, you can see this excess seal. I'm gonna go ahead and continue working this into place. Now we're gonna to have to cut this here. You wanna pay attention to this here. You don't wanna mark it right on the seal where the line is here, where it meets up with the other one. You always wanna cut with a little bit of excess and then kind of push in and make it nice and tight. You don't wanna have a big gap here. Like when we initially had the original seal, there was a gap here that we don't wanna have. Go ahead and line this up. And our mark for the seal would normally be right in that main, right where it lines up with this here, but we're actually gonna cut it a little bit further over. You can use a pair of cutters here. You can use a razor blade. I'm gonna use a cutter on the main piece right here. So we're gonna kind of snip that and then come on up on the other side.
use your blade to cut through the softer piece. You're going to get to a point where you have that metal section there and that's why you want to go ahead and use your, your actual cutters here to cut through that. So we have the seal cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bend the seal back a little bit on itself, push it in, and hammer that down in. And that will force that together nice and tight. And there you have it. We're gonna go ahead and install our trim again. We're gonna go ahead and install our molding here. Just kind of work this around, popping this back up and on. Install your lower kick panel. Go ahead and slide that up into place. Install your plastic push pin. Push that in. You can follow up with installing your lower trim here. So we just popped off our metal clip here off the side of the A pillar using our trim tool and just press it on here. Now what we want to do is go ahead and feed this down and into place. Go ahead and line this up. Just follow around popping this in. Once all your trim is in, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.